Hi, my name is Matthew. I'm here to show you what the Natural Shadow Kit consists of. Natural Shadow Kit consists of two main things. The mat for the Natural Shadow and the lamp that will cast the shadow on the product. We also have the cable that we will connect the device with the lamp and the screws to mount the lamp on our device. So here we have our jumbo device. First we're going to start off with uh, mounting the shadow lamp. The shadow lamp ma uh, mounts right here. We have two screws that we put on each side. First we put the right one and we screw in the left one. Once we have that in place, don't put them to the end. Leave some space for the lamp to go in. Mount it from right, uh, right side and then from the left side. Once we have it secure, we screw it in till the end. Here is the last thing that we need for our shadow kit. This is the shadow map. We need to make sure the platform is clean before we start. And I'm going to show you how to put it on. Because it curves in one way, the way it was stored, we have to put it on so it curves to the platform. And we need to make sure that the rows are over the mat. For the smaller products such as this one, it's important that we remember that the shadow lamp moves so we can adjust its angle and we also have still the ability to put the shadow lamp down or up if we need it. For the bigger products such as this one it's better to gain a little distance from the product. So as you can see we still can move out the arm of the device and put it up just like that. This way, we can angle the camera exactly how we want and still maintain the shadow by pointing the lamp in the center of the platform. Now I'm going to show you how to use the shadow feature in our Moldbit software. Okay, now for the software part of the training, as you can see we have our Moldbit 5.0 right here. Uh, let's start with the setting of the light. The light is really crucial when uh, turning on the shadow option. You have to have always this light underneath the platform turned off. This is really important for the shadow to be persistent and uh, really visible. We also need to have this backlight at a low percentage to make sure the shadow is the best possible shadow. Okay, as you can see, we also have the shadow lamp as an external light. That means that it's a lamp that also can give uh, the photo more light on the product. Let's turn on the shadow function. So what you do is you go to the background removal, you turn on the background removal, choose the shadow option on the turntable, this indicates that the shadow mask mat is on the platform. Choose the default product option and turn on the shadow. Now we are ready to take a picture. When shooting uh, with the shadow option on, there will be three pictures taken. Two for the main DGR functionality and third one for the shadow information. Let's open our picture in this tool. So as you can see, we have our image tools open. Uh, we can control how the shadow uh, works right here. As you can see, it has no shadow because the shadow has been turned off. We can turn it on right here. So that means when we shoot the photos with the shadow feature, 
uh, we can disable uh, the shadow however uh, if we want to. So uh, if we want to have one series of photos with the shadow and one without, we can save time and shoot just one with the shadow and then turn the shadow off. So as you can see, we can uh, have the shadow on the colorful background or the transparent PNG file, like you see right here. Uh, the shadow works great on the white, but uh, it doesn't work that well on other colors when you just want to change the color right here. So it won't work that way, but I'm going to show you how to do it other way. So what you do is you change the color of the background to the gray but almost white color. That way we can change in the colorize tool the color of the background alongside the shadow. I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So first, we need to change the color the way that we won't change the color of the product, but we will only change the color of the shadow and of the background. This is how you do it. First, you choose the product selection tool. Then, by right-clicking, you can inverse the selection. Now we have selected uh, the background and the shadow. When we choose our color, we can do it manually right here, or just write down the color that we need right here. So I guess we want the color that is right here, uh, this blue one. I think it will fit the most. Now that we have our color ready, we can click Apply. As you can see, the color changed. We can uh, decrease the brightness however we want. We can decrease the saturation uh, if we want to make the color mm, the way we want it to be. I wanted to mention one more thing. When you shoot the series of the photos, Always remember that when you have the shadow lamp installed, the shots that you can make cannot be directly from above. The shadow lamp decreases the range to be around uh, 60 or 70 degrees max. Uh, so be sure to plan that into your photo shoot. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Thank you for your time. Uh, and I hope to hear from you soon.